If you wonder how to upgrade your buildings, this is the right place for you. Today we are going through how to upgrade your building levels and what you need to succeed. So this is actually very simple. Um, you know that you have your basically uh, three uh, zones here, commercial, residential and industrial. And each one of them needs something different for uh, level up. So what I mean by level up is when you click on a building, you can see if they are level 3 or if they are level 4, level 1 and so on and so on. So as you can see, residential, you do have five levels and commercial and industrial do have three levels only. So I believe we have commercial in here, as you can see, just three levels. And if we have uh, residential here, we do have five. Uh, one way to know how to upgrade your buildings is just hovering over this little indicator and it'll tell you a few things that you might need to upgrade this. And here it's saying education, but we'll get into that in a second. Each of um, the, the zonings that you have will have a different effect and will need something different. But one thing that's the same is the higher the level, the more capacity you have in a building. So residents, they have more people that can live there. Um, industrial and commercial, they all uh, have more jobs. So that's why you would want to level up your, your buildings. So for residential and commercial, they both uh, look at your land value. So that's the, your first indication there that uh, you need something. It's your land value. And one way of uh, looking at that is basically opening up your info view and then showing the land value on the dollar sign here and you'll be able to see how value is your land. So you have your average land value in here, but what you're looking at is you want to be all green and not white, not blue, you need green. This, the higher you go, the better the value for you. So if you can see this area, we have level three. Uh, this is uh, leveling up to level five this one level four and as you go further you probably go down your level as you can see level three just there level three on this one that's because we don't have enough land value in there not just education education is a good point here as well but for both commercial and residential this is the main thing that you need now, for residential, you also need to look at education. And education is not just about being uh, able to educate your citizens, but you have to wait for them to be educated and level up. As you can see, we have school in this area, and as these buildings are new, they need time to be actually educated and reach a higher level but you also need uh, schools to be reachable by people otherwise they they won't learn and they won't have anything accessible for them so these are the both sides of education the more uh, you have accessible for them the better it will be so as you can see you probably complain about education that is a school just next door as you can see and you just need to wait for them to be educated but make sure that you have schools over there for commercial the higher the residential level the higher will be your education and this is very important so it's not just land value for residential it's also the residential level so commercial will just level up if your residential is also higher up in the in, in levels. So in areas where you don't have a higher level, then you will have a lower uh, residential as well. Now for the uh, 
industrial end office they are the same and I'm moving the area here because here we have a bigger industrial area as you can see and as you can see they are all level 2 they are asking to be covered by more service to allow to be upgraded and industrial is and offices they are both affected by average education level of workers and service coverage so i think the education is pretty easy uh, as much as you educate your citizens and make sure that they have coverage your residential will level up and they will be more educated and then your industry will be affected by that as well now service coverage uh, that is actually a number of things that will uh, impact your your industrial and offices and from the highest one to the lowest you will start with cargo transport this is by far the biggest one that will affect all your industries followed by fire department public transport police departments healthcare death care entertainment schools uh, noise pollution and ground pollution so i think i didn't forget any there so the best thing you can do is make sure that you add cargo transport uh, fire department and public transport and you'll be able to reach level three very very easily now i spoke about ground pollution uh, and noise pollution actually pollution pollution in general it actually affects everything in your city so having pollution negatively affects your commercial and your residential as well so just be aware that it's not impacting your residential areas otherwise they won't level up to level five for example this one as you can see it tells you that increase the, the value of the land to allow building to be upgraded so basically these are the two messages uh, that you see for residential uh, land value and education so that's what you're looking for now what i want to do is actually give you a demonstration on how this changes so looking at this area that we have here if we look at the land value you can see that it's not really high the area that's highest is uh, surrounding our park here so it creates more value for the net but as you can see we still have some blue areas in there now you don't need to use it i will just use uh, an asset from the workshop so i can show you but obviously you can use um, other buildings that give you entertainment and if even parks this is the easiest way for you to actually get higher um, land value is adding more parks around the city and as you can see entertainment value that has a direct impact in land value as well so that helps but I have an asset here that it's fountain of wealth look at the entertainment value there it just helps me show you what this does to the entire city so I want to probably put it in here and as you can see everyone's happy and if we look at the inter yeah take a look at the buildings all upgrading and uh, being a lot happier with leisure as you can see they are changing from red to to blue which is the high in here and they are all upgrading there these little green arrows here 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 all these buildings they are all upgrading now just because this probably raised the land value as well as you can see we have a lot more green now and as they upgrade these will turn in greener and greener so we do have education in here and like they they just love it all the buildings they are all upgrading and they reach maximum level very soon just because we raise the entertainment value which raised the land value and then uh, your buildings start to level up so fantastic that's what we need right there and uh, this shows you how the land value will directly affect your 
um, residential and commercial. So they are both in this area. And as you can see, they just upgraded over there. So that's what we need. Now for um, the industrial, the best way to upgrade, as I mentioned, is with cargo transports. And one of the easiest means of transportation for your industry is the train. And if we do the cargo train terminal, just take a look at this. I'll just add the station there, not connected to anything, so they'll be happy. And look at this, all the buildings starting to upgrade. I'll speed things up. Look at all the green arrows in there. Like there is nothing more that I can show you that will tell you that this is how it works. Because all buildings you can see right now are upgrading and they just needed access to carbon transportation in there. So this is how it works. This is what you need. And when you do this, you see your demand growing uh, with your uh, buildings as well. And this will start bringing more people to your city and making you uh, a lot more money as well. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial about how to increase your uh, building levels and your land value as well. And let me know in the comments what you think, or if you have any questions, or if I miss anything that you might find useful for other people watching the, the tutorial. Let me know in the comments and we will see and have a conversation about that. But thank you for joining and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.